What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Rafa Rising Stage 2, the Alp. Uh, so if I can say with the group over the jungle portion and then through that descent, um, I'll lose my Alp. We're, I mean, the whole group's just going to disperse at the Alp. Um, not even worried about it. I got a new bike just for the occasion. This is the Cannondale Evo with the Kadex 36 wheels. Will it help me? <laughs> sure, dude. I'm debating keeping the fan off for this because it's literally so cold and it's windy enough. I got one, two, three windows open. But if you notice, I'm on the bike with ample time today. Even did a warm up. Doesn't mean I'm feeling good. 35 people, it's supposed to be twice that. All right, let's do it. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Oh yeah, first place. First place, let's go. All right, I've done the Alp de Zwift one time uh, on record, apparently, in in total, I suppose, perhaps in total completion. One hour and five minutes and change. Uh, I'm hoping to do ten minute, take ten minutes off that. That would be a big win of the day, just like yesterday on Climber's Gambit. The main goal was to uh, take some time off last year's time. I don't think I did this one last year. I don't remember. I know I missed one of the stages. But anyways, ideally, if I can do it in 55 minutes, taking a full 10 minutes off, I don't know what that boils down to as far as watts per kilo, um, but I'm gonna try to beat that. But nonetheless, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Yesterday, February 23rd was my birthday. So you're probably watching this on the 25th. It's being posted on the 25th, nonetheless means a lot to me. Really uh, grown a YouTube channel and enjoyed an awesome Zwift community over this last year. So really appreciate all the love. Taking a look at the course profile, this looks delightful. Uh, and actually that middle hill there in the center is the epic KOM, uh, like the early onset right before that long bridge. And then of course you have a uh, pretty nice descent, although uh, portions of it are gravel, I believe. And then you have uh, the entirety of the Alp, which looks absolutely daunting. So uh, basically a several mile lead in to the entire thing. Um, no, I'm not looking forward to it. But uh, like I said in the video yesterday, I would never do the Alp on my own. I'm only going to do it in an event like this. Therefore, this is my second time ever doing it. Skipping way ahead, this is now the base of the Alp, the very start of the climb. We're still in this group here. Uh, I mean, we're in this like top 20 bubble. And again, there's only a, a field of 41. So initially there was supposed to be nearly twice that, about 80 or so. Uh, so that's pretty deflating to see, first of all. Um, I know being this far up in the front group, it's not going to last long, as you can see. Not only that, I held nearly 300 watts for that first hairpin turn, um, which was unreal, completely unsustainable. I know that. For the second one, I dropped down about 20, 25 watts, if I remember correctly. And But also, like I'm trying to stay with the guys. I'm trying to stay with the group because I know that's going to help me. Um, but then I remember how long one hour actually is. I'm, granted, I'm trying to beat one hour, but you know what I'm saying. So, uh, again... I, I cooled it down even more, and uh, I was shooting for 250 watts per turn. Um, the best way to, to bike up the Alp, one pedal stroke at a time, break it down into bite-sized chunks. Uh, it's pretty cool how they, they redo it by these hairpin turns. You see the screen on the right, and then, um, unfortunately, the camera of my ugly mug is covering it up. But it shows you uh, what your average power, average heart rate, and your time was per each turn. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm still kind of new to this. Again, it's my second time doing the Alp. Um, so I was trying to shoot for an average of 250 watts uh, each turn. Some, some of them I had over 250. Only a few of them did I have well under 250, but some of them were 240 something. So um, right there, I did I did stop for a hot second just because I was <laughs> I was dying and I just needed a break. Do not cry, do not cry. Uh, again, if you remember from my video yesterday, I'm trying to do some new things with the cadence. 
So uh, it is much lower. I'm kind of alternating between um, trying to do like a higher cadence or dropping it way down and kind of in and standing up on the pedals and having a much lower cadence and, and trying to keep the power fairly consistent, if not higher. Of course, that's always the goal. Um, I tell you what, man, the weather outside yesterday, 60 something degrees, beautiful day. And I was inside today, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. I got these windows open up, uh, trying to get some fresh air. I had the fan on, so I'm absolutely freezing. Now I'm super sweaty, totally saturated. Um, fingers on my left hand closest to the window, totally numb. The cold air sinks in the room, feet totally numb. Again, uh, yeah, I'm sweaty, saturated, so I just absolutely miserable and just just not fun. Not fun at all. And this is my annual reminder of why I don't climb the Alp, to be honest. Um I was like, oh, it's not going to be that bad. I, I only do it as as an event with a bunch of other people. Um, yeah, that, that didn't work out because there's only 40 of us. So uh, I was just miserable the whole time, freezing cold. Take a sip of water. It's ice cold. It was terrible. Uh, my gel was, like, really hard uh, because it because it was so cold. Uh, yeah, not, <laughs> not fun. I have all the complaints for this one. Um but my goal, of course, is to beat my time from last year. Um, I was shooting to beat it by 10 minutes, which means I would do the Alp in 55 minutes. I feel like that was kind of lofty, but maybe also kind of doable, too. So, um, I mean, and, and in addition to that, try to get at the top 50% in the standings. Um, that's That was lofty with only 40 people. Uh, not only that you know, the first two turns there, I really drop back and every once in a while I get passed again. So whatever, man. I don't know why I'm acting like I was going to discover my calling or something on the Alp. This is terrible. Due to the incredibly long, grueling nature of the Alp, uh, kind of entered this really dark mental space. Uh, it was pretty frustrating. Um, and then finally, especially getting dropped, you're riding alone, everything hurts. You find a little bit of motivation. See this guy? I'm gonna bait him. I'm gonna destroy him over the line. Uh, Jay Pierce. You passed the wrong E. Barfell. I'm gonna ride his butt and whoop him. He's gonna be a little carrot dangling right in front of me. Come on, right here. Up the Zwift, bringing it home. Do not ease up. Do not ease up. Come on, Eric, keep it steady. Finish it. Six seconds on this guy, come on. Make it 10. There's seven. Come on. Push it, push it, push it. Come on, push it, push it, push it. Shift it, come on. Keep it steady. 10 seconds, there you go. Three tenths, come on. Come on, Eric. Absolutely drop him. Come on.
Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Seven hundred meters. Seven hundred feet. Come on, ten seconds. Come on. Come on, here it is. Ten seconds. There it is with my previous time being an hour and five minutes and 41 seconds and my new time being 58 minutes and five seconds. So pretty, uh, pretty good win personally. Seven minutes, like nothing to shake a stick at. Sure, it's not 10. Uh, sure, it's not 50% in the standings, but hey, I'll take it, man. Seven minutes, that's awesome. Oh, good, a feather. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Same time, same place. Uh, except for we'll be doing La Ren. Doesn't that sound like fun, huh? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the continued support and encouragement. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. I'll see you in the next one.